welcome to Jump Into Monday with me, Mrs. Jones, your super proud principal. You know the drill. This week's habit of the week is habit number five. Seek first to understand and then to be understood. This is all about learning what others are thinking, what others are feeling, what they're trying to say or try to communicate before you take your turn. Because what if they are thinking or seeing or seeing or feeling the exact same thing that you are, but you rush in to try and say what you want to say, and then you miss that whole opportunity to synergize. This is a tricky habit, especially at times that you might be feeling frustrated or agitated or with someone that you just don't always get along with. Maybe at home there's a sibling that you may have a hard time with or a peer here at school. So I really encourage you to practice this habit this week. And if you can come and tell me with a friend or another leader how you practice habit number five, you will both get a legal lottery ticket. Can't wait to hear about how you practice this important habit. Adults at home, please remember next week is fall break. There is no school next week. Make sure that you are prepared. We will not be here. School resumes Monday, October 16th. And leaders, October 16th also begins a time that your teacher will be giving you some assessments to prepare for report cards, whether it's reading or math or writing, whatever it may be, make sure that when you sit down with your teacher and they, he or she tells you, okay, I wanna see what you know, you show them what you know because that is gonna go on your report card beginning with the end in mind, my friends. This week is an AMPS week. Looking forward to some great art and some science and some awesome PE. We also are celebrating National Custodial Workers Recognition Day. Today is a day that we celebrate Mr. JT and Mr. Albert for all that they do to keep our campus clean and safe. So make sure that you give them an extra big thank you today for National Custodial Workers Recognition Day. This is also the last week of the Panorama SEL survey. So I hope that you are doing your best being really honest about what it is that you feel about being here at school. It is also the beginning of student led clubs. I'm so excited. We've already got some great clubs out there. We've got some ideas for slime club. We have a killer reading club that's up and running. I can't wait to see how you find your voice and start or participate in a student-led club. But speaking of finding their voice, I right now am in room one, Miss Fardonish's kindergarten classroom. Check these leaders out. They are finding their voice through their mission statement, which is so beautiful. They are finding their voice in their writing. They are finding their voice through their art and they are showing off their leadership through their leadership roles. It is so cool to see how this amazing class of kindergarten leaders is practicing the habits. Way to go kinder in room one. Okay, teachers, return to those tubs and those buckets, pull out two tickets and up to the office for a prize. Make it a great week, my friends. Let me know if you need anything because I'm always here to help. See ya later.